There are lots of different ways that you can change the settings on this iPad to make it easier to use for somebody that has a problem seeing things or a problem hearing things. And I'm going to show you some of them. But one of the first things I want to show you is how you can use your voice to type. So this can be useful for lots of people. Maybe some people have problems pressing the keys, but it can also be really useful for some people who just like to use their voice to type as well. So one of the first things that you can do if you're typing is you can go to any typing app. So I've gone to notes here. Um, and then if I was typing, I can type on the screen. Down here, you've got a little microphone. And if I tap on this microphone, it says enable dictation. So I'm going to say yes, enable dictation. And what that will mean, yeah, I'll just say not now on this screen. I'm not bothered about sharing my information. It doesn't really matter one way or the other, but I'll say not now. Hello, I am just typing something and the words that I am saying will appear on the screen. Full stop. Is this something that you've ever tried before? Question mark. I think it works really well. Exclamation mark. Okay, to, so to make that, to start that, I press this microphone down here at the bottom. And once the screen comes on, you'll see there was a little keyboard down at the bottom. And I press the little keyboard and then that will, um, that will, that will stop it working. Okay, so um, that's how you can use that. And you can use that in lots and lots of different apps. Anywhere where the keyboard comes up in any app, you can use that. This is how to use the voiceover if you need um, parts of the screen reading to you. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to accessibility and I'm going to tap on voiceover. Now if I turn this on, as soon as I turn it on and I tap anywhere on the screen, it's going to start reading what it says. So normally I'd tap once to make something work to select it. But what I'll do is if I want to select it now I have to tap twice so if I tap once it'll read it if I tap twice it'll click okay so if I turn this on I'll just show you what it looks like Voiceover on. Settings. Landscape. Home button to okay button. so it's starting to read a few things to me so I'm just going to close this and then if I press on Safari down at the bottom you can see it's got a black square around it if I double tap it it opens So if I tap this twice, it will go to that page. So now I'd like to show you how you can use the zoom if anybody has a problem seeing things. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to start typing. You'll see I've started typing accessibility here. So I'm looking for this accessibility setting. So you don't have to search, you, you can type it up there, but if you look down here as well, you'll see it says accessibility. And then over here on the side, you'll see that there are a few different things. So I'm going to go to um, Zoom, actually, to show you Zoom first. So if I tap on Zoom, and I can turn this Zoom on, and you've got some instructions under here that tells you some things about it. But if I turn this Zoom on, then it gives me an area on the screen that I can move around where it will zoom in on a particular area for me. So if I want to see the text inside, I use three fingers and I can move it up and down and around by using those three fingers. Um, and then it gives you some more instructions on the screen here. Okay, so that's basically how to use how to use a small zoom on the screen. So let's look at some of the ways that we can make the iPad easier to see if anybody has colour blindness or low vision. So if I go to settings and then go to accessibility, then I've got a button that says display and text size here. So if I tap on that, I'm going to go to the one that says classic invert down here. And if I turn this on, it will actually reverse the colours that we can see in there. So it reverses the colors of the display. Um, so it makes it easy for some people to see those. Now there are two, there's classic invert or smart invert. 
So smart invert, as it says, changes the colors of everything apart from images and things like video and some apps, whereas classic invert does all of them. So if I want to turn it back, I'll just turn that off. Now I'd just like to show you the colour filters while we're here, so we're still in settings and accessibility, but I'm going to go down to colour filters um, over here and I'm going to tap colour filters to turn that on. So I'm just going to tap the slider for colour filters and you will see that I've got some different things here, so I can go to grayscale if I want to make everything um, black and white now it's not changed it on the display that you're seeing but on my iPad it's changed it to black and white if I go to red green filter that's going to make all these pencils start to look slightly different so I can go here you're not actually seeing this on this video it's not coming through very well but on my iPad it's actually changing the colors if I go to color tint down at the bottom I can slide this intensity up and down and the pencils will change colours and I can also change the hue. Now as I keep saying, it's not really changing it on the iPad that you're looking at on my video, but on my iPad in real life, it's really making a difference and changing it. Now I've only gone through a few things there, but if you want to see much more about the accessibility features on the iPad, then you can go to Apple's website where you'll get to this page and it's got much, much more information about that there. And the way that I got there was on the iPad, I just did a search for iPad accessibility and then that brought me to this site. So I just did a web page, a web search, and it brought it up as the first result as you can see there.